Hello, welcome back to MB Jars and Beyond. Today we were doing a video on how we make our this wine glass. It will be painted and bedazzled and stick a letter on it. So we're gonna do a step-by-step -step and show you and tell you how we did it. First is a picture of all of our supplies. We have our wine glass and alcohol wipe to wipe all the excess oils off to make sure we get the paint to stick evenly. We have the blue tape and a piece of paper to tape the glass up to make sure we don't get any paint any place we don't want it. We have our purple paint, that's what we'll use as a base. Then we have our glitter glass, so we'll do a little bit on top to make it a little extra blingy. And then we'll seal it off with our, with our Krylon UV resistant clear sealant. And so that way we'll get a perfect pretty glass and then we'll stick the K on it at the end because the person's name who this glass is for is K. And so we'll have a perfect, pretty purple bedazzled glass when we're done. Now we'll start by taping the glass off so that we make sure we only have uh, the parts of the glass exposed that we want to spray paint. I like to first start by taping the area with just the tape to make sure that I get uh, perfect edges with the tape and then I put the paper on top of it to make sure it's sectioned off properly. Now that we've got the base taped up, see a few more empty spaces to make sure you get everything covered up. And sometimes if you, depending on how far you want it to come up, you could tape closer to the base. I want the actual entire stem to be uh, paint it so I'm making sure I cover up the bottom but leave the whole base exposed. And I'll just use this to go around the perimeter of the glass to keep the rest of that thinner from the paint. It's still cheap them ready to be spray painted. Here's this piece of tape right here that came off. I want to make sure we don't get too close so that we don't get any paint. We don't miss tape put any paper over any places where we want the spray paint to actually cover. Paint is, our, our tape is not cooperating today for some reason. On this side, it's a little high, so I'm going to pull it down some to make sure that I don't cover any of the spaces that I want to actually spray paint. Now we're going to take the alcohol wipe and we're going to wipe down the base to make sure we get all the oils off and the paint adheres well. Now we're all done, we're ready to go spray paint. Outside, because I would not recommend spray painting inside your house. One, because of the damage it would do, and two, because of the fumes, they're too strong. And so I'm outside in my backyard using the top of my good old garbage can. And now I'll let you watch as I spray the glass. Turn the 
paper a little bit so I can get the other side. Getting close to make sure I can get the rim the close to the edge of the stem of the glass. Now I'm going back around to get the bottom brim of the stem. I had planned on using the glitter blast, but now that I see how this has gone on, there might not be a need to use the glitter blast because it has a bit of a glitter to it on its own. To get in close and you'll see, take it from this side, the sun isn't on it, you won't see it as well. So now we'll just let it dry and we'll come back and see if there's any spots we need to fill in and do a another layer if not we might seal it because i think it's pretty glittery already so it doesn't need a glitter blast the good thing about using spray paint is that it doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry so we've given this some time to dry and i've decided even though this has a really good sparkle to it already this person is really into bling so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna spray it just a little bit with the silver glitter blast to give it a little bit of extra pop Make sure you get around the edges. And there you have it. We put an extra little bit of the glitter blast on it so it sparkles and shines all pretty. We'll let this dry for a little while and then we'll put the clear coat on it. Now the glitter glass has dried and we're back. We've got the UV resistant clear Krylon uh, and it's the gloss version. So now we're gonna spray the glass and we're gonna seal it and let it finish drying and it'll be ready for us to do our next step, which is putting our crayon side on the, on the glass, as well as maybe an extra few bedazzling features we'll add to it. Shake up the jar really good. see as you spray it really uh, spreads out so you would not want to do this inside your house because you have fumes for days and don't forget to get the underside of your glass as well and then it'll just sit out here and dry and we'll be all ready for our next step Hi, we're back. As you can see, I have on a different shirt today because I wanted to give the glass some time to dry with the uh, sealant on it to make sure we got it sealed really good. So the next step is we have this K that we're gonna put it out to bling it out. And then I actually found this little heart little bling as well to add to the glass. So I'll give it a little extra spice. So take the alcohol wipe and wipe down the glass again. Wanna make sure we get any oils off the hands or any particles that may be leaked through when we were spray painting. Make sure it's all clean and ready for us to put the letter on there. And so while that dries, I'm going to take this heart and I'm going to put the heart symbol on the bottom of the rim of the glass.
we got that off there and then I'm gonna look around the glass and see what looks like a good place to put this at Make sure we get everything stickied right on here. Ta-da! Now you can see we have the heart on there. Cute little extra bling. <clears throat> and now we're going to put the K on there. In the information section, we'll list where we uh, got all the products that we use. We start off by showing you all the products that will be used uh, to do this. And we will list exactly what each item was and where we got it from in the section below in the about. So that you can at home go make your own glass as well. But should you not want to do all this work, contact us. We'll make one for you. Now we've gotten the K on there, and this is our finished product. We got our purple bedazzled wine stem with a little heart bling on the bottom, then a K blinged out, and I'm sure our client is going to love this. Um, as I stated before, I'll list all the products that we use so that you can go ahead and follow this video and make it at home. But if you should decide that you don't want to, reach out to us at MB Jars and Beyond, and we'll make one for you and ship it to you. Thanks for watching. Keep checking back. To to see all the videos that we post of doing DIY and other things and hit subscribe as well as hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we post new videos. See you next time. Bye.